I want everyone to listen to this sound. And the reason we're playing this sound is because you might hear a noise like that and just assume that, oh, that's wheezing, it's asthma, but not all wheezing is asthma, and you can often have a misdiagnosis if you don't have the proper testing. In the ER in particular, with older folks, sometimes I'll hear wheezing when they're having a blood clot in their lungs or heart failure, which we call cardiac wheezing. But in kids, it could be a condition known as vocal cord dysfunction. That's right, and that's why it can, it can become confusing because you have an overlap of symptoms between something going on with your vocal cords, mm -hmm. which is higher in your airway, or asthma, which is typically more the medium-sized uh, part of your airway. But the things that are in common, you number one, you may have problems breathing. Number two, you may have noisy breathing, whether it be wheezing, strider, just an abnormal sound to your breathing. You may have tightness in your throat or chest, and you may have coughing. And like you said, unlike asthma, which occurs deep in the airways, if you look at this animation, vocal cord dysfunction happens at the level of the vocal cords or larynx, and you'll actually have laryngeal spasms there where the vocal cords are. What that does is that causes obstruction of the airway higher up. You'll get that striderous, wheezing type of sound. And in order to properly test and diagnose for asthma, you really should have lung function tests performed. If you continue to have, or if children continue to have these symptoms, and yet tests don't suggest asthma, that's when you have to go looking for some of these other look for abnormalities. Else. And, and you know, one of the, by listening to that, the, that quote, quote unquote wheezing, I could tell the, the main sound was when they were breathing in, mm -hmm. which is, that's one of the signs of vocal cord dysfunction right. versus asthma, usually have a hard time breathing yes. out. You know, there's a study at Columbus Children's Hospital that showed that 12 out of 17 adolescents that were admitted for asthma symptoms actually turned out to have a bit of vocal cord dysfunction as well. So, and it's important to realize the difference.